Time management is one of the most important skills in today's world. You need to learn to manage your time effectively. Me personally, these are one. This is one of the skills I definitely need to work on. It's a very important skill. Here's the thing. Time management is important and all, but what's more important, or just as equally as important, is managing your energy. Your energy is wasted throughout the day in ways that you couldn't even realize until you actually take a second to observe, analyze, and then from there realize. Think about how many times you're quick to anger throughout the day. For nothing. For what? Somebody looks at you weird and you get angry. Really? How are you going to waste your energy? It, it's very, very, very precious. You can't be throwing it around left and right. Especially not to somebody that you don't even know. Don't throw your energy at home. Would you throw your money away? If somebody, it's, it's like this, this is a great way to put it. If somebody was looking at you wrong and you got kind of angry for whatever reason, would you throw $300 at them? No, you, why would you ever do that? Would you just give them $300? No. You getting angry is equivalent to you giving him $3 million. That energy is so precious. You can't be throwing it away on nothing. Save it. Save it for things that matter. Save it for your loved one. Save it for your spouse that you actually care about. Put that passion and energy into her or him. Don't waste it on bullshit throughout the day. Don't feed into strangers and their shenanigans as you're traveling through the city throughout the day. Watch where you dispense your energy, observe, and try to understand what's best for you and where you should preserve that energy and where you should unleash that energy. It's a very, very, um, not unique but it really depends on the person basically so yeah there's no real right answer like another example like the crackhead on the street like this guy's yelling a bunch of random bullshit like his energy is thrown away just because he smoked that crack rock and he doesn't know what the fuck to do with all that energy so he's just yelling about screaming at a at a, at a, at a woman with their kids, just trying to get along. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, you see, like, he doesn't know what the hell to do with his energy. He's just doing a bunch of random shit, saying a bunch of random shit, wasting his energy. The real crime is, is not even him hitting the crack rock and destroying his life. It's him not knowing that he's throwing all this energy into nothing. That's the real crime. Sure, that crack rock is destroying his entire life, but... There's deeper, deeper things to look at. This is certainly one of them. And it's, a lot of people overlook it. Like Your energy can apply to other things as well. Like, scroll it on your phone. Excuse me. Basically, when you're sitting there scrolling on your phone, your energy is being wasted as well because you're frying your brain. Your brain is being completely deep fried. Your brain is turning into a double whopper. Keep scrolling. Your energy is being wasted. Okay? Let me think of some other ways you waste your energy. Or you could be wasting your energy. This is a good one. <clears throat> With friends or people that you, uh, acquaintances, like, you get into arguments with them over nothing. Like, you, you always have to be right and you're wasting your energy doing that. Like, look within your ego. Your ego's taking over you. 
and your ego can come into play with your energy and how it's wasted because if your ego takes control then your ego is going to direct where your energy is going so that's going to cause a huge problem so just be mindful of your ego speaking of mindfulness if you want to know where to put your energy in, in basically the, the best way possible is meditation mindfulness speaking to god gratitude journaling exercising intentions goals with your soulmate having meaning, meaningful connect, uh, conversations put that emotion that energy into those conversations not with your acquaintances or people you don't really like but you talk to them because you're lonely why are you gonna why are you gonna show emotion like who cares like you're just wasting your energy because at the end of the day this is what I tell my soulmate all the time about girls <laughs> I always tell them this I say this end of the day they always come and they always go I told you so bro I told you I talk to a girl for this amount of time and then after enough time she's gone and then I always tell them, what's that one thing I always tell you the point I'm trying to make is with people that aren't that close you aren't so close with don't waste so much energy on them because it's just gonna be a waste of time it's just gonna be a waste of time if it's business related okay sure that makes more sense but just like just random people that you're not really close with don't waste your energy it's just you're not going to be talking to them one day you're not going to know them ever again so save it for your soulmate save it for your dog honestly save it for your dog your pets um save it for your your family very important because family matters much more than acquaintances or whatever and yeah i don't want to make this too too long but i'm kind of enjoying this so i'm going to talk for a bit more um <clears throat> yeah so just be mindful be mindful of where you're dispensing your energy because it's a very sacred sacred thing a sacred thing that Is, is something that is very, how do I say, like, not, like, I want to say it's, like, your energy is, like, how you're close to God. That's exactly it, like, your energy is how you're close to God, so be careful how you're using it. Be careful. Because uh, it's all vibrations and aura and these things. There's different layers of these things, but, yeah, and definitely, like, course correlates to god in some way like our vibration fr frequency and all that so you don't want to be throwing that around to random people that don't care about you in fact probably despise you deep down you know that saying where we live our lives just to or like we we, we work jobs we hate just to make enough money to to buy things that we only buy to impress people we don't even like and it's very true. That type of life is exactly how you shouldn't be uh, living and, and wasting your energy. Focus on the shit now. Find people that you actually care about. Find Keep it very lighthearted, positive, happy. Boost each other. Compliment each other. No negativity. No negativity. No negativity. Keep it positive. If you're going to be talking to your best friend or your friends about like how much you hate your life, or how much you hate life, or how depressed you are, which is all things I used to do, trust me, it's just going to make things worse. So, point is, energy. Talk about positive things, and that will bring you positive energy. Talk about things that are uplifting. Talk about things that you find 
morally grounding, things that resonate with you in a positive respect, and you should be good to go. And just watch that energy. Watch where you use it. Now it's getting long, so I'm going to cut it short. If you watched this far, thank you so much. I, um... Uh, one, two, three. Triple buttoned up for you guys for this one. I look like a, uh, a square, but... Be a professional. Alright. Take care.